Today is the fourth day of our novena to the Divine Mercy and the Lord says, Today bring to me those who do not believe in God and those who do not yet know me. Let us listen to a reading from the Gospel of John chapter 10 verses 11 to 17. I am the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand who is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away and the wolf snatches them and shatters them scatters them the hired hand runs away because a hired hand does not care for the sheep i am the good shepherd i know my own and my own know me just as the father knows me and i know the father and I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. I must bring them also, and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd. For this reason, the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to, to God. God. Reflection. As we celebrate the joy of Easter, which is not just a memory, but is as real as an empty tomb and Jesus' glorified body raised from the dead. It reminds us that Jesus is the Good Shepherd who laid down his life for his sheep. Jesus is the shepherd of the flock that is entrusted to his care by his Father in heaven. We are living in a world among sheep who do not believe in God and there are yet those who do not as yet know Jesus. It is indeed a pity as Jesus still longs and cares for them. As they are lost in this hurting world, so busy and too confusing, just tied down by the earthly pleasures the world affords. These are the pagans, the sheep of Christ, that have not yet heard his voice. They must also be brought into the church. Heretics and sheep that have left the fold of Christ and that they too must return to the church. If they hear the voice of Christ, the Good Shepherd who lovingly calls them to his true church. Unless one cuts himself or herself off by heresy, apostasy or excommunication, a Catholic sinner continues to be a member of the church. God has given Catholics the grace of their holy religion, but he has also given them their free will and they are free to choose whether to act in full accordance with his commands and counsels or whether to practice only a part or to violate his commands. This wide gap between that divides the Catholics, not practical and nominal Catholics. Jesus the Good Shepherd is eagerly waiting for their return to rest in the fields of green pastures. Romans 10 verse 15 says, How beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news to save them and proclaim the glory of the risen Lord who was slain to reconcile man with God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
Welcome Holy Spirit, we are in your presence, fill us with your power, live inside of us. An act of contrition, oh my God, I am heartily sorry for having the binding prayer. In the name of Jesus, I take authority. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, to whom is our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He went down to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. From then he came to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, we offer thee thy body and blood, soul and divinity of thy dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, 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 Eternal Father, we offer thee thy body and blood, soul and divinity of thy dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. I trust in thee. 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 
I trust in thee. I trust in thee. I trust in thee. I trust in thee. I trust in thee. I trust in thee. I trust in thee. I trust in thee. I trust in thee. I trust in thee. I trust in thee. To tell you God in your mercy is in this situation. I may have come as an increase your mercy in us. That in difficult moments we might not despair, not become despondent. We with great confidence submit ourselves to our own evil, which is love and mercy itself. Who incomprehensible and limitless mercy divine, to extol and adore you worthily who can, supreme attribute of your only to God, you are the sweet hope for sinful. Pray for divine mercy. Today all mankind calls out from the abyss of its misery to your mercy, to your compassion, O God, and it is with its mighty voice of misery that it cries out. Gracious God, do not reject the prayer of this earth's exile. O Lord, goodness beyond our understanding, who are acquainted with our misery, true and true, and you know that by our own power we cannot ascend to you. We implore you and to state us with your grace and keep on increasing your mercy in us that we may faithfully do your holy will all through our life and our deaths are. Let the only potence of your mercy shield us from the darts of our salvation enemies that we may with confidence as your children await your final coming that they want to know alone. We expect to obtain everything promised us by Jesus, in spite of all our wretchedness. For Jesus is our hope. Through his merciful heart, as through an open gate, we pass through to heaven. Amen. Pray to the divine mercy. Light, mercy, God. Who alone are good, although my misery is great and my offenses are many. I trust in your mercy, because you are the God of mercy, and it has never been heard in all ages, nor do heaven or earth remember that a soul trusting in your mercy has been disappointed. O God of compassion, you alone can justify me, and you will never reject me when I contrite approach your merciful heart. Where no one has ever been refused, even if he were the greatest sinner. For your son assured me, sooner would heaven and earth turn into nothingness than my mercy fail to embrace a trusting soul. Jesus, friend of a lonely heart, you are my healing, you are my peace, you are my salvation, you are my serenity in moments of struggle, and in its an ocean of doubt. You are the bright way that lights up the path of my life. You are everything to a lonely soul. You understand the soul even though it remains silent. You know our weaknesses and like a good physician, you comfort and be sparing us suffering, expert that you are in. Act of consecration to the divine mercy. And the treasure of thy grace inexhaustible. I have infinite trust in thy mercy, which is above all thy works. I surrender myself to thee entirely and without reserve, that I may thus live and strive for Christian perfection. I desire to spread thy mercy through the performance of both spiritual and corporal works of mercy, particularly in converting sinners, in consoling and aiding the needy, the afflicted, and the sick. Guard me then as thy possession and thy glory. For while I have everything to fear from my human weakness, at the same time I have everything to hope for from thy mercy. Hear me come to know the fathomless depth of thy mercy, to confide in it and to glorify it forever. Amen.
Jesus, I trust in thee. Pray to obtain graces through the intercession of Saint Faustina. My sins, my sins, render me worthy of your mercy. But be mindful of the first in the spirit of sacrifice and self-denial, and reward our virtue by granting the petition, which with childlike trust I present to you through her intercession. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Saint Faustina, Saint Faustina's healing prayer. Jesus, we are pure and healthy blood, circulate in my poor ailing organism, and we are pure and healthy body, transform my weak and unhealthy body. And may a healthy and a vigorous life flow once again within me, if it is truly your holy Thanksgiving prayer. Oh Jesus, eternal God, I thank you for your countless graces and blessings. Let every beat of my heart be a million of thanksgiving to you, O oh God. Let every drop of my blood circulate from you, O God. My soul is running in adoration of your mercy. I love you, God, for yourself alone. Amen. For the intention of the Holy Father, the Pope, to gain the indulgence of this hour of grace and mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now in the day of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and never shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us bow in adoration to this sacrament so great. There is no one perfect worship. All the old master relate, senses cannot grasp this marvel. Faith must serve to compensate. Glory, honor, adoration. Let us sing with one accord. The divine praises, this be God, this be His holy name, this be Jesus Christ, the God and true man, this be the name of Jesus, this be His most sacred heart, this be His most precious blood, this be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar, this be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete, this be the great Mother of God, very most holy, this be our holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be your glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, our most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and his saints. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus, from my heart.